bag of Denny's. Today's just more of cleaning up little loose ends, doing diff fluid. I finally got the, ooh, I got, I got the thing. I finally got both of them. I bought out all of the washers at another Nissan dealer. So now two Nissan dealers are out of this. I got them for me. I think the highlight today would be Danny teaching me how to detail my car, slightly detail my car, just to see what it could possibly look like if he put like a thousand bottles of chemicals on my car. Okay, I know I didn't do a good job of it last time showing, but the diff is the same th deal as the transmission. You have this fill plug right there, which is gonna be undone, and then this drain plug over there. We're gonna undo both. Man, this is so crusty. Why is this diff so crusty? Alright, so same process, just this time I'm showing you where the diff drain and fill plugs are, which is the same deal on the transmission. It's a 10 millimeter hex head. Undo the fill per first, indicate that you can't undo that, but you can undo the drain. You'll be shit out of luck. And the diff fluid I'm going with is Redline 7590, and apparently Danny says it smells like shit. Smell it. <laughs> yeah, doesn't it? Yeah, man, that shit smells like some ancient Chinese food. Uh, Damn! Oh my god, it's so crusty down here. What the fuck? It is so crusty. Okay, it's so done. Dude, did you see that? I broke it and nothing but dust came out. Look, check it out, man. Then he doesn't have to do the work again. <laughs> For now. About to do work later, son. <laughs> oh, fuck. That booty shot, though, will. Oh, fuck! You saw that dust? <laughs> okay, it's loose. Ew! What the fuck is all that grime? Um, let's call it a magnetic plug. Dude, this, no, it's like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, give me a second. I'll get you. Two in the space. I told you. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, this smells so bad. I, I don't I don't know what makes diff fluid different from transmission fluid, like scientifically speaking, but that smells like ass. It smells like a lot of ass, a lot of unwashed ass. <laughs> That's so crusty. It finished draining. I'm gonna plug it back up. There's a Actually a difference between the drain plug and the fill plug for the diff. The drain plug is actually the longer one, the fill is the shorter one. Now plug it up, fill it up with the 7590. Damn it man. I'm not looking forward to this. Pump, 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 pump. All it is, drain the diff fluid, put in new diff fluid. Now the actual part of the video that we're gonna do is cleaning this car just to make it look less janky. Danny's actually gonna teach me that. Remember I said I'm not good at detail stuff? I really mean I'm not good at detail stuff. Danny is. Danny's gonna teach. You're so black! <laughs> it would be our luck. It started to sprinkle a little bit, but Danny said, it don't matter, fuck it. All right, now we're about to start the detail process, but first, check out my shoes, man. <laughs> first step, man. Rinse the car down, man. Car's dirty, rinse we the whole thing down with a very fancy thingy thing. We're gonna do the wheels first. The most dirtiest part of the car. I wanna clean that off first. So clean it off with what? The uh, chemical guys, um, Diablo wheel gel cleaner, mixed with a little bit of a uh, degreaser. And uh, it's diluted down to the right ratio, so you just simply just spray it on. Deliberately, on the tires, wheels, deep inside the wheel walls, and into the lugs. Basically, you saturate the whole entire wheel. Remember that part where I said Danny was actually teaching me? He's teaching me how to do one part and I do the rest. I almost feel like it's almost uh, kind of pointless to clean these wheels because they're like so busted. But let's do it anyway. Is that good? Did I do that right? Yeah. 
Word. See, man, I'm learning things. Holy. We're actually using double buckets with catch net thingies. I only saw these on videos. I'm actually going to use these. What am I going to do next? Basically, you want to use this brush to clean all the wheel wells. You want to get deep in between the wheels because no one really cleans it. That's why I'm like, if you have nice wheels, what's the point of not cleaning all your wheels? All right, once that's done, you just basically want to clean the wheels themselves. So brush all along all the areas. Damn, that actually looks pretty good. <laughs> Once you're all done, then rinse it all off. Those are washed. Um, you just foam the car and you start washing the car. So. Ooh, look at that. My car has never been foamed. After all that done, grab a brush. And I start with the windshield first because it's I, I do it sections at a time. So I will clean the windshield. Hey man, can you confirm what kind of brush that is before people go like, man, you use a broom? Um it's actually a hundred percent boar's hair brush. Uh it prevents swirls and scratches when you're actually washing the car. So I go to the first step is after each panel I actually rinse out the brush so that you don't have any dirt and debris on the brush. There's always a rinse bucket of clean water and then actual soap water. Then you take that, spray it back on the car, do the same thing. This is literally the most exciting, the most fun I've ever had washing a car. This is crazy! The entire car has now been brushed, foamed, other steps that we mentioned earlier now, just rinse it off. Fun fact about Danny's bottles. These are uh, double action triggers. So one squeeze gets you some spray, let go, get you some more. God so, damn! You get double the product for less the time. That's fancy shit, man. So this is quick dealer, quick detailer um, concentrate mixed in. So it's decent ratio enough where you can uh, clay bar it. Actually, it's a little more concentrated than that, but I just use this as a claying and quick detailing spray us all in one. Basically, we're gonna work one panel at a time, drench the whole entire panel down, and then spray it on this nano skin. Uh, Pad, which is going to clay the whole entire car. We've gone to the point where it's 2017 and we don't use clay bars anymore. We use this. It makes it so much faster, so much easier. And if I can drop this, I won't have to throw this whole entire pad away. Just wash it off and we're good to go. So what you, you want to do, you want to put on a, a, a rotary polisher. This is a Flex um, fixed rotation rotary. Um, and then you want to start off with the lowest setting as possible. Start anywhere on the panels, make sure you Deliberately spray it down with some lubricant. Start it off. And then, I'll just set the three and a half four and work the whole entire panel. Wow, make sure that it's wet. You don't want any dry pot. If it's dry, the uh, panel will stick to your car and leave that mark. It's going to be very hard to remove. And basically what clean does is removes all tar, any contaminants that's on the paint, that's stuck on the paint. And then once you clay it, literally when you run your hands over it, it feels like glass, how the paint should be in the first place. So this decontaminates all the tar and bugs and literally anything that's left over from a typical wash. This gets rid of everything. So to me, after you clay it, the car is completely clean. If you don't clay it, it's pretty dirty. But you only do this once and a while when you actually detail your car because if you do this often, this actually removes all the paint, sealant, waxes, and sometimes ceramic coatings, depending on which ones you get, um, it removes all that protectant. So usually after you clay it, you would want to put a layer of protectant on it right away. Because this is just me telling you what to do with this. Liberal amount. Start up one. Should I add the product? Just to get it all over the car. Sections at a time. Oh, 
Okay, that took way longer than expected. The car is done. Wow, that looks good on camera. Let's get finished glazing the car. Now the last step to this mini job is sealing it, which we're gonna do after we wipe off the, the black light. Oh, damn, it was good. Final process of the whole thing right now, Denny is sealing everything. We've wiped down the black light. Same process as glazing the car. Um, just gonna apply stuff, wax on, wax off. Mr. Miyagi, the process. After letting the, the seal cure for about 10 years, now we can buff it off and literally this feels like I'm rubbing my girlfriend's butt. This is so nice. I love it. Alright, that pretty much wraps it up today. Um, Mostly it was just learning how to kind of detail. Daddy, what the fuck did I do today? Got the fluid changed up. We got the car washed pretty thoroughly. And then we made it a little shinier. About it. That is so the cliff note version. <laughs> That's basically all we did. Made it a little shinier. We washed it pretty well. We did so much more than that. It took us all day. Remember when the video started, it was very bright. Sometimes it rained, sometimes it was bright again, and then it rained. Pitch black sun, it is still the same day. I mean, it's only 9.30. We probably started at 11. We started at 3. That was 6 hours. It felt like nothing. Yeah, it did feel like nothing. Not gonna lie, I had a lot of fun doing it. But I totally downplayed how long this was gonna take. <laughs> and I wasn't even sh bullshitting around. I was actually working. Damn! And that was just like a very m minor detail work. That's it for today. Uh, that's funny. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.